how would you define yourself? This is like a really deep question. No, it's just like <laughs> it's an icebreaker. <laughs> this ice is hard. <laughs> no, right? So how would you define How Joanna? would I define myself? I think um, Joanna is very unique. Um, well, actually, people don't call me Joanna often, right? So it's almost as if there's like Joanna, then there's like the nicknames. Just put them as together all nicknames. as one. Nicknames. Yes. How I'll many? just I'll just name them. Run Joe. me through the nicknames. Ah, Joe, Joe Biz, Joe Buns, Joe Biscuit, Joe Bora, Joe Abantu. That's like six, you see? And okay, here we are. so the main thing is Joe. Yes, then... or Mojo Jojo, as oh, long wow. as it has Joe inside. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so. so let's start off by just defining Joanna. Like, how do you define Joanna? Joanna is a multifaceted human being, in short. In short, yeah. Okay. And how would you define Joe Biz? Joe Biz is um, energetic, fun, um, more adventurous, and yeah. I think Joanna like it ends up falling under like a serious, you know, like hey, let's do work, let's be uh-huh. formal, and let's be serious. Right. Yeah. It's all <laughs> me. But if you if you if right. you call me by if you call me Joe Biz or whatever, the reaction yeah. is is different than mm-hmm. calling me Joanna because I'm not right. used to it. First of all, and then also, I'm normally called that when people are like when I'm in trouble uh-huh. or like people are like okay right. they want something from me. So okay. yeah, so definitely not. So family calls you Joanna. No, oh. they don't call me, unless I'm in trouble. Yeah. I'm called Joe. Let's just say Joe. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's all me. It's all the same. Yeah. Just it brings out a different reaction from me. Uh-huh. It's, it's all still me. Okay. No split to anybody's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. I think for someone your age, you've kind of done a lot or you've been in the limelight quite sooner than usual. Mm. Uh, I think the first uh, thing that mainly came out, like that just kind of introduced... Uh, Joe or Joanna to the world was, I think it was um, the Teen Awards, the social media. Mm. Thing. You talk to me about that. That was so interesting because I never even expected to be nominated, let alone win the award. And I think one thing that I learned was kind of that as long as you're passionate about something that you're doing and you just put in work, like there's always someone who might not be today, might not be tomorrow, but there'll be someone who will appreciate it. So I guess in that time and that season, mm-hmm. it was appreciated by someone in a high place who was able to put me uh, up for the award. And it was for social media, which was something that I was very much into, mm-hmm. uh, which is good and bad. Because <laughs> I used to, I think I used to post like every day, like I mean on my feed, like a picture every day. Yeah. Um, so I was very much into capturing the moments, but not like selfies and like, ooh, look at me. But yeah. like, hey, I love people. Look who I'm with now. You know, I'm yeah. with Clements. I'm with so-and-so. I'm with so-and-so. So it was just, mm. yeah. And also spreading positive vibes. That was something right. that I was very right. um, like into and I still am. Mm-hmm. Just when someone sees my page, they're able to find something that encourages them, that lifts them up. Mm-hmm. And it all must just be aesthetic, must yeah. fit together properly, which ah. is just my own thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how did you get into that space? And especially not just doing um, Instagram, and but then like how you just mentioned now, the aesthetics of things. Because most people just post whatever. Mm. But then for you, like you're mentioning, it has to be positive vibes. The aesthetic has to be correct. Mm. And uh, it's, it's also like just giving like hope to people. Like how did you get into that space? Um, I actually don't know. But I do know that, um, I I think maybe I was thinking about, or now I think about what I would want to hear myself while I was going through something. Or if I see something that I'm like, well, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why must I keep it to myself? Like, Mm -hmm. it's probably someone else who relates to this. And definitely, I think nine times out of 10, Mm -hmm. whether I decide to just go on my Instagram and just talk like from my heart or put something, someone's like, hey, you know what? I actually really needed this. So you actually never know. Um, People might not even say, but you never Mm -hmm. know how many people you're helping or what other people are going through. Um, And you could just be the light in their lives. So, yeah. From being nominated to Mm -hmm. winning it, how did that change the way you approach social media? Um, I don't think it changed the way I approached it. Yeah. I was just like... No. I knew people were watching me and I was doing what I was doing intentionally. So right, I didn't right. really change anything that I was doing right. or anything like that. And I didn't start like, working out, like, you know, <laughs> it's me, you know, <laughs> uh, the, the award winner. Like I never yeah. did that. Cause I was yeah. like, you know, Oh, it's not that I wasn't grateful for the award. I really yeah. was. Um, but 
it's social media and mm. there's also then a fine line um between reality and social media as right. well where it's like because uh, i then went through the time where i actually wasn't on social media i think it was maybe like a year and a bit afterwards or two years after I yeah. actually just went off okay uh, well the social media was instagram and that was i was nominated yeah. for yeah so it's yeah i think social media has pros and cons and for me right. personally it just has to be like in moderation yeah because it can get pretty hectic mm-hmm. especially when like i've decided my stance is to be positive yeah. um to just give out like good vibes mm-hmm. i almost felt like i mean no one ever said but i felt yeah. like i was i wasn't allowed to be sad mm-hmm. i wasn't allowed to do the wrong things because i mean okay there she's posting at church she's posting at youth yeah. so can i be at a house party i don't mm-hmm. think so right. uh, can right. i be sad i don't think so either <laughs> like i because i knew as well that so many people were watching me i wanted right. to make sure then that i was exemplary for people that were younger than me yeah to look actually look up to somebody be like hey this is a role model and then to also on myself put pressure like you know there's people that maybe are waiting for you to just post today and then mm-hmm. you're not mm-hmm. uh but at the end of the day you really have to take care of yourself mm-hmm. and i think it was my mental health i think that was kind of affected where that pressure that I put on myself where yeah. now I felt like I wasn't that person and I couldn't like feel for myself. Yeah. I was like, can you take a break and actually find out who I am, not mm-hmm. who social media is saying that I am, yeah. who they are wanting me to be, but who yeah. am I actually like, what am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So coming back, did you think you had all those answers now or you were more sound minded and sober in terms of how you want to use social media? I did not have the answers. I didn't know how I wanted to use it, but I just decided that I wanted to go back. Mm -hmm. But I knew that I was going back um, different. I wasn't going to be posting all the time. Uh, I started being more reserved, like when I was on social media before. I think people knew, not everything, but like, I mean, all my family and everything. Most of the time when I was not doing anything, but like, hey, you know, we're going for lunch today. I'd be snapping and whatever. So it was like me and the people that are following me were like mm-hmm. with me most of the time when I was somewhere. Mm-hmm. So I think now I started having certain things that I'm like, okay, I'm posting this, but other stuff, not everyone knows everything. So I had some things yeah. that I could keep to myself. Right. Um, because though I was affected by how I felt people or how p- I thought people thought I was, you know, all these mm-hmm. thoughts, thoughts, mm-hmm. um, I also give the bait for that as well because yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm at church. Okay, yeah, I'm here. Okay, yeah, I'm here. So yeah. it's also kind of protecting like my own right. peace and whatever. So yeah, I'm right. doing this. But I'm into anyone is fine. Not that mm-hmm. I'm like ashamed of being where I am, yeah. but it helps to protect that. Mm-hmm. But it was also, it had an impact, me going away. Yeah. Because now people follow for content. Yes. I was off for, it was nearly a year. Right. There was no content. So the, my, the drive that people had for like my page and my content was not at all the same mm-hmm. where i would post and i had now become like i was so used to people liking my stuff people commenting my stuff yeah. it wasn't nearly as many or as much engagement as i had before yeah. so it's also another adjustment where it was like just as i came back it was like i'm about to be kicked again like why aren't people liking my stuff mm-hmm. <laughs> um and then i had to like take back and be like you know that's not what i am posting though i'm posting because it's just my page it's what i want to post okay. Um, but it's a it was a battle still, even mm-hmm. though I was back. But yeah. it was something that I was like, you know what, this is a powerful tool. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's something I should let go of completely. Yeah. And there actually are people that will wait for me to post something. And I do mm-hmm. feel that uh, that's something that I, a task that I've been given yeah. is to be a light. And that's one of the uh, avenues that I can use to do that. Talk to me about um, how now, especially with instagram how that's taken away from you actually being in a situation where you're supposed to be like let's say you're going for lunch with your friends Mm. Uh, i think we spend most of our time looking for the right pose looking Mm. for the right you know uh photo to take to post on instagram how is that uh distracting from us being where we are rather than just going somewhere so that you can just post something and live online yeah no i think it's so it's so hectic sometimes people get so caught up in that Mm -hmm. i actually went for uh, breakfast uh, a f- couple of weeks ago and we didn't even use our phones like at all and it was great yeah. but then there's times when you can go out and you can take one picture and put your phone away and yeah. be done as well yeah. so i think yeah. there's balance to it right. in that case i was like you know what i'm here to see you I hadn't seen the person in a long time we yeah. had great conversations you know empowering and mm. um just talking to each other but then 
most of the time it's like hey taking a picture of now the drink is here take a picture of yeah. the drink <laughs> okay now the food is here take a picture of the food okay yeah. okay yeah we're done you know show mm. people that we finished the food you yeah. know so sometimes i think you can then distract from actually really connecting and yeah you know, going beyond, if you think about the amount of time. I mean, mm. I think about it. Everyone has access actually to their phone to yes. see how much time they spend on yes. what apps or yeah. on your phone at all with yeah. the screen time. Yeah. And you think, okay, so I'm trying to get here for my, mm. you know, my, my short term, my long term, my whatever. Yeah. Or this, I met, I came to, to be with you today so yeah. I could just find out how you are. And we've yeah. spent like a third of the time on our phones, either messaging, snapping, and it's like, okay. So what exactly am I trying to do? Mm-hmm. You know, like, can we just take a picture at the end just together, yeah. <laughs> you know, as a memory? So, yeah. yeah, I think there's just balance and each, yeah. there's no formula for everyone, yeah. but yeah. Each, each person has to find where, where their balance is. Mm. And if they're an addict, they must just sometimes just accept, just you know, accept and you just know when you're meeting with Job is, yeah. <laughs> she will <laughs> be on her phone. <laughs> if yeah. she's without her phone, she's not okay. <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. That's dope. You mentioned uh, health was one of the reasons why you kind of left mentally health. That mm. is, was the reason that you left social media uh, for a season. And looking at your pages now, you're more into that health stuff, you know, like exercises yeah. and all that jazz. Mm. So talk to me about that. How did you get into that space where you're like, okay, let me just focus mainly on physical health yeah. but, uh, outside, outside of the mental health? So it literally started, what, like a month ago where I was like open with my social media about it. And that was actually because it's actually accountability. Because if people don't see right. that I've posted it, then they're actually going to ask me. No, right. Not so everyone. It's a motivation. Yes. That's pretty smart. Yeah. So I was like, I joined it with um, another Sweat Nation for fitness boot camp. Mm, yeah. And she started, she was on day three when I then started. And I, when I first saw day one, I was like, <laughs> 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 this is for others. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not others. You know, I'm yeah. set apart. I'm not supposed to do what everyone else is doing. You right. know, I was telling right. myself. Um, and then... I was like, okay. She asked. She was like, who's joining me on her Instagram? I was like, you know what? I should, actually. And this yeah. was because I'd actually... Um, one of my workmates actually challenged me because I saw an old picture. Not an old picture. It was like a few months old of me at this fitness shoot But because my, my fitness had been very on and off. Okay. Where, and my body is very, like, elastic. My metabolism is good. So I can mm. be told, you know what? We want to shoot you for this and that, whatever. And like a week before every single day, I will do a certain workout. Right. And at the end of that week, I'll be looking like it's cool. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, I'm like, yeah, yeah. great. Thank you. I'm going back to my life. <laughs> because, okay. yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's so goal. I was like, it was towards, I think, mid-December. I was like, no, I actually want to be serious. December 2019? Yes, December okay. 2019. I was like, you know what? I want to be serious about uh, this fitness thing. All the time it's like on and off. Let me actually, you know, commit. And mm-hmm. this person was like, you know, just look like that, you okay. know, by a certain time. I was like, you know, before I leave for, for university, right. I'll look like that. Yeah. And that was just my goal. And then I yeah. happened to start this burpee challenge. It was 100 burpees every day for mm-hmm. 30 days. Today, I'm day 27. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many times I felt like quitting. <laughs> I don't know how many times <laughs> I've been like, no, not now. And then I do yeah. it later. It's just so hard. But yeah. it's, it's, it's been a, amazing. And it's something mm-hmm. that I definitely want to continue doing. Yeah. And so many people are also inspired by seeing someone else do it. That's what I've noticed. Mm-hmm. Um, there's one person who messaged me. I was like, wow. She was like, you know, when I first started seeing you um, doing this stuff, I thought you were doing it wrong. So I okay. just like didn't pay any attention. But I can see the results. So mm. <laughs> please tell me more. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I was like, yeah. how about telling your sister she's doing the wrong <laughs> things though? Like, why are you letting the me go? The results are showing. It's working. <laughs> exactly. And yeah. others are like, you know, keep going and stuff. So they see. And mm. um, even cool. if they are not doing 100, like I was always telling people, as long as you set a goal for yourself that is right. pushing yourself a little bit over, mm-hmm. you're doing more than enough. Yeah. I think progress is so yeah. important. Progress, That's good. Yeah. That's good.